So once you have removed the barrier from your film and have taken your Dixie cup over with your film, you want to make sure that it's on the correct time at four and a half minutes. You want to make sure that the low temperature light's not flashing so it's at the correct temperature. You also want to make sure that this processing light is red. If it's not, you just click the run button. And once your films are done coming out, you can just hit the run button to stop it from continuing. So this is our daylight loader. So you take your film and you should not be wearing your gloves, your clean hands. This is where you insert your hands into this area. You can look over top of what you're doing so that you can see. Um, so I'm going to remove these just for demonstration purposes so that you can see inside. So if you'd like to take a look here, so you'd stick your hands through here and you'd start off by opening your first film and you want to collect the garbage and this lead foil and you take the film out. Now you'll notice there's several different slots here, about four different slots. You'd start off by putting the first film in the first slot and then you'd go on to open up your the next film collecting the lead and the garbage and then you'd slip it into the next slot into the next slot Once you've reached the fourth slot, you'd start all over again and continue to put your film into the first slot. You want to make sure before removing your hands that you don't allow any light in to just check to make sure all your film have gone through. And you can pull your hands out. So then with your garbage, after putting your film through the processor, you want to separate your garbage into the lead foil, the cardboard and the outer packaging. This lead foil gets put into a container for recycling, whereas the cardboard and the outer packaging gets thrown into the garbage. Okay, so I'm just going to add a few a little points to processing. As uh, Jesse mentioned in the video, we want to make sure that the lights are on here. We want to make sure that the run light is red, which means that it's, the processor is running. We want to make sure that we have the right time setting. In this case, it's four and a half minutes for normal processing. If we were doing, let's say, um, an endo, the speed would be significantly shorter. It would be about a minute and a half, but we've gone through that in lecture. And for our purposes um, in this clinic and while you're learning, we will not be doing endo speed. Finally, we want to make sure that the temperature setting, the red light isn't on, because if the red light is on, it will indicate low temperature. Now, what will happen occasionally is, is that the machine will automatically shut off. So when you come to the unit or to the processor, you want to make sure that you hear the sound of the water flushing, and you also want to see the red light for processing the run button on. Otherwise, if you don't see it on, you will press it. So this would happen, it automatically will shut off when, um, when it has time to cool down and when it's not being used. However, if you come to this unit and you see that the light is off, immediately you must press it in order to process your films. So I just want to give some pointers about processing and how to insert the film. And we have our film here and we're going to go through that demonstration very shortly. Okay, now only for demonstration purposes will I take these cover plates off. As we know, this is basically the area in which we make sure that the safe light or the safe um, cover is on. So this is the view box, but however, we usually keep this sealed. But for demonstration purposes, I'll remove the top so that you see how I can insert the film into the film slots. So I have my film in two cups. What I will do is I will remove the barriers from the film here and place the exposed film in the other cup. Obviously, if this was really exposed film, I wouldn't be uh, bringing it out into the light as I am now. However, I want you to see the process. So, first of all, I'll open up the film packet, remove the envelope, the plastic envelope, 
and the black paper, pull out the film, and then I place it in the cup over here to get it ready to put through the processor. Then I'd separate my garbage. If I can't remove my hands right away, I would either put them back in the cup or put them to the side. Then what I'll do is the lead foil will always go into this container over here and the packaging itself will go in the garbage below. Okay, So I'm just going to open up these films and we're going to put them through the processor. And if you can see that. So what I recommend you do is to, if you have three, four, five, best to stay within a smaller amount. But see how I'm just removing that, okay? Because there's no, there's no longer contamination on the film, whether we've exposed a client because we've taken the barrier off or with Dexter. So keep it over to the side and then see how I open all these up. So I believe I have four films. So I'll take my garbage, I'll put it in the cup, and I'll worry about it later after I've put the film through the slot. Because your, pro your priority is really to get the films put through the processor as quick as possible. So there's a piece of paper in there. We'll just remove that. So let me put that there. So I start with slot, each slot, and then the best way is to feed it one after another. So see how that works. It goes into the slot. Now it'll process. It'll come through later. And now I know that I've put four in. See how quickly that goes? Now the next one will go in at one because it's already processed. And that way we can avoid doing overlap with films and you keep track of how many you've put in. Now I'll separate the garbage. The foil will go here in the foil container on top of the processor and the garbage below in the garbage can. And that's it. So those were the little pointers that I wanted to add to that film sequence.